Hey guys, I've been asked to do a tutorial on alcohol ink tiles. So we'll do that really quick. Some of the things you're going to need are some blank tiles. You can pick these up at Lowe's or Home Depot. I got these 4x4s for 81 cents each at Lowe's. You will need some alcohol inks. They sell three packs at Hobby Lobby for $11.99 and then you could use your 40% off coupon. If you are looking on Amazon, make sure that you read through the comments and questions to make sure that they are actually alcohol inks. I looked at a lot of different ones last night and 99.9% .9 of them were actually water-based. You want alcohol ink. You want some kind of glaze. I picked up some triple thick glaze. You want a burnishing tool and a pick if you're going to be putting some vinyl on it to have a design. I have an initial cut out and it's ready on some contact paper or transfer tape. You can also use alcohol ink stampers. I don't have any so I just have these little paint stampers that I was using. Saran wrap is another option and you also need alcohol ink. Oh, excuse me, rubbing alcohol. So let's get started. You also want, before I forget, some either felt, this is just black felt, or cork board that you're actually going to cut in hot glue or E6000 glue um, onto the back of these so that they don't rub on your table. So on the first tile, we are actually going to use the vinyl and make a design um, because I want it to dry a little longer. As you can see on this one, I got a little excited and probably peeled the vinyl off a little too early. so some of where it should be white, got some of the ink rubbed into it. So I have my last name initial on some contact paper. Um, you can use transfer tape. Don't comment and tell me how much I shouldn't use contact paper. I use it all the time. It works fine for me and that's what works for me. So that's what I like to use. And you just want to rub it on there good and peel it back. And it's not permanent. You're just using this kind of as a reverse stencil. Now I've just put a little bit of ink on the stamper and I'm just going to randomly stamp around and then I'll do that with one more color. This one I'm just going to do two colors. So now I have my two colors on, I'm going to take my alcohol, I have it in this little bottle here and I'm just going to dribble some on and then move it around. It's a little hard to do this one-handed. Now my rubbing alcohol is 70%. I was talking to a friend a little while ago and she said she thinks 90% rubbing alcohol is better. So just a heads up, maybe try the 90%. Now there's some extra white spots. You can just go back with your dabber. And this one has, a, I think, a little purple on it, actually. And just go in and fill it in. And then this thumb is pretty quick, so if you dab more and then you go to move it and nothing happens, just add a little bit more alcohol in that area and then start rolling it around again. So while we let that one dry, we'll work on our second one. This one I'm not going to use the stampers. So I'm just going to kind of randomly just drop some of the alcohol ink. Onto the tile itself. And the colors that I'm using are Flamingo, Amethyst, the lid just fell on the floor, <laughs> and Patina. And now the same thing, I'm just going to take the alcohol and just kind of drop it on there. and roll it. I 
it's a nice watercolor effect when you do it this way as opposed to stamper. I don't really like the stamper method. I think this one gives it a nice effect. And you don't have to use three colors. You can use two, one, four, whatever you want to do. Now another idea that you can do is you can take saran wrap and kind of roll it up into a ball and press. And it gives it a little fun design. Then you think, oh, I have too much purple in there now. You can just go back and add a little of one of the other colors and then just go and do the same thing. Roll it around and if it doesn't really move, just add a little bit of alcohol. A little bit of alcohol goes a long way on these. But always make sure that you move quickly because it will start to dry up fast. While we're waiting for the one with the vinyl on it to dry a little more, I just want to talk about the triple thick glaze. You want to make sure you do this in a well ventilated area, preferably outside or in your garage with the door open. You want to do at least three coats of this and you want it to fully dry between each coat. Then you want it to cure for, I like to do 48 hours. I think that's um, the best. And then after that, cut your cork board or your felt into a four by four piece and then use whatever method you want to use, hot glue, super glue, whatever, to put that on the back and that way it'll sit on your counters and rub and not scratch it all up. So when you want to take your vinyl off, you want something sharp like a dental pick or um, I actually have a Cricut utensil here that I got with a whole packet back when I had a Cricut. And you want to find a piece in the middle and kind of lift it. And then try not to touch. You can see it coming up nicely now. I think a thicker font would be better too because where it gets a little thinner, you can see that it kind of went under. But overall, it looks really good. Let me finish getting this vinyl off. And there it is with all the vinyl off. There's the one we just did with the saran wrap. This is one I did earlier with saran wrap. You can see all the little texture in there. I think it's really pretty, a little bit of a marble effect. And here's the first one I did with vinyl. Thank God it's my initial, right? Um, but yeah, definitely wait till it fully dries. Don't get super excited like I did and pull it off too early. And I think um, a little bit of a thicker font would be great or if you really like the font that you have and it's not thick I would do an offset to make it a little thicker okay thanks guys if you like this video hit the like button don't forget to subscribe and if you have any questions or comments for me leave them down in the comment below and I'll get right back to you until next time guys see you later